Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for October 16th through October 31st, 2019. Welcome back subscribers and welcome to those of you who are new. I super appreciate all your likes, subscribes, and comments. It really does help the videos circulate more and the messages are able to reach uh, more souls who are needing whatever the messages are that come through. So thank you for that. All the information for our personal reading is listed below. Um, you'll book directly through my website. Also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point, uh, which is really amazing. I'm so grateful for that. And we would schedule according to your time zone. So no worries on the time difference either. Um, all the information is listed on the website below. You know, if you're feeling like you are working through something or you're ready to let go or you're feeling out of balance or just off, the energy therapy is very powerful to help you get back in alignment, get connected to your true self and moving forward uh, on the best path for you. So uh, definitely take advantage. I have a 15% discount for first time energy clients. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. Uh, you'll see that listed below as well. You can also reach me through Instant Go if you just have a simple question, okay? So I think that's it for Shop Talk. We're gonna get straight into your readings now. Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for October 16th through the 31st, 2019. I've already fully shuffled, so we're just gonna get straight into it here. Okay, beautiful start, Pisces. First out, we've got the Eight of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. So there is going to be an offer coming in for you guys. It's going to be pretty quick moving with um, just messages and information. So the Ace of Pentacles can be the... Uh, I do feel I was asking, you know, for guidance for Pisces in love. So I do feel this is a romantic relationship coming in or somebody new for you. So um, it's something that could start a bit slow and really build and, you know, get the foundation. But I just, I noticed this arch down here. So it can be something really that can grow into long term. And the Eight of Wands can bring passion and action and just fast moving energy. Okay, so that's very exciting. I've also got the Empress out here. So I feel like this offer coming into you is a really beautiful offer because the Empress energy really brings wholeness, completeness, um, nurturing energy, love, very grounded, very balanced energy. And this can be male or female. So I just feel the offer coming in for you feels quite solid. I guess that's what I'm trying to say here. But you also, I'm just, I'm getting that you too, Pisces, can be the Empress energy. So you are receiving this beautiful offer and you are just in your, in your power, you're feeling good and you're just allowing it to come in and receive. Okay. Beautiful. Those just came popping out. Next up, we've got two of wands. So I feel like normally I feel a choice of some sort with this card, but I feel like the choice that you're going to be making is to take a little trip with this person. So I see some travel for you guys. Not big travel. I'm seeing more like weekend trips or like short getaways or somewhere to just go and really get to know this person. And I think after that trip, Things are going to get more uh, solid with the Knight of Pentacles. So now the Ace has grown into the Knight. And with this King of Swords, um, this can be you or the other person. So the offer is either being given to you or you're giving out the offer. But either way, with the King of Swords, I feel the energy around that is just very clear. Like the King of Swords knows who their soulmate is. They are clear of it. They want to go after it. They don't hold back. They speak up. It's very um, 
honest and truthful. And then with the stability and the longevity of the Knight of Pentacles, I just, this feels really beautiful, Pisces. So if you meet this new person comes in for you, I do feel like going away on a little getaway with just the two of you can really help you connect. Um, maybe that's why the Eight of Wands was like fast moving energy. But I think you love that kind of energy. You love to be adventurous and try new things. So I think this is like the perfect partner for you. Beautiful. Okay. Last out, we've got a couple major arcana cards. So we've got Judgment, Eight of Cups, and The Magician. So the Judgment card always brings some sort of, to me, some sort of healing. So forgiveness, really dealing with some sort of uh, aspect or situation within a relationship or someone new that you're dealing with. It's really talking about the things that need to be talked about especially in the beginning of a relationship. So asking those, you know, more difficult questions, making sure you are on the right page. Uh, okay, I just heard self-forgiveness. So there may be some things from your own past that you need to let go of so that you don't sabotage this sort of relationship. I think that's what this Eight of Cups is about. It's leaving behind uh, patterns, thoughts, beliefs, anything that's not fulfilling for you because I do feel this relationship coming in is going to be quite fulfilling. So it's letting go of your fear. Maybe you have some fear around it actually being that or actually being, you know, this good to be true. Instead of too good to be true, it is this good to be true. Um, so really look at that. I feel like these two cards um, are really linked to you, Pisces. There's some sort of message and lesson here for you to face and deal with within yourself kind of separate from the relationship and the last card out we've got is the queen of pentacles so look you've gone from the ace to the knight to the queen so this is definitely progressing you could be dealing with an earth sign so capricorn virgo um or taurus or somebody who's just grounded and solid and maybe a little slower moving when it comes to their emotions and commitments and things like that but I do feel this energy progressing it might okay this is what it is it might feel fast to you but I think it's actually or it might feel fast to them but it might feel slow to you because I think you're okay with things moving fast. You like fast moving energy, Pisces, but this earth sign or this very grounded, stable person might like things to go just a little bit slower. So again, nothing wrong, just something that I'm picking up on. And I, I do feel this is quite beautiful, actually. I'm getting really good vibes here, really good feelings. So let me see if there's any other messages for you. Okay, we've got three that wanted to come out. I love it. The first one is soulmate. I told you I was feeling a very strong connection here. So this is why you might need to really look at yourself and let go of any fears or anything that pops up, okay? Because this person is gonna help you grow. It's quite solid. And then I've got serenity. So really keeping yourself in a balanced and peaceful place. Make sure you are taking care of yourself and you're not getting um, to, you know, throwing all of your time and energy and effort into this relationship, really keeping the balance within yourself is important. And then I've got Archangel Michael, which brings complete protection and guidance through this whole situation. So honestly, Pisces, I feel like you have nothing to worry about. Okay, so just enjoy the ride. Enjoy the rest of October. I hope this resonates. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, or your Jupiter. Thank you for the comments below the video. I love reading all your comments, so thank you for that. 
And if you would like a personal reading, the link is below. You'll just book directly through my website. And again, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients all around the world at this point. And this is my full-time work. So thank you guys for keeping me so busy. I'm fully booked every week. Um, you'll see below the link for, so I give a 15% discount for first-time energy clients. So you can definitely take advantage of the 15% discount for your very first energy session with me, okay? I hope um, that was all clear. Have a wonderful rest of October, Pisces, and I will see you back here for the first half of November readings. Take care.